So this video is intended to help people after uh, do the data analysis for the uh, sodium bicarbonate decomposition lab in general chemistry. Um, you know, if this could be a nice start. Um, if you don't understand, though, you should definitely go see your lab instructor for further uh, questions. Okay, so let's say we've done this where we've decomposed our sodium bicarbonate mixture and we need to find out what the ratio of bicarbonate to sodium chloride is. So I have, um, so our data would look sort of like this. We'd have the mass, the pan. Uh, before we added a certain amount of uh, bicarbonate and sodium chloride mixture of an unknown ratio. And then we heat it and we would get some sort of uh, um, uh, mass at the end. And so the question is, how do we use this data then to figure out what our uh, percent bicarbonate was in there by mass? So um, if we look at it, um, the mass of our mixture before okay, would be this difference. So that's uh, 3.492 grams mass of the mixture after is going to equal 2.893 grams. Okay, so if we then, so we've lost, then we've lost, um, i got to do the math here real quick, I didn't write this down. zero point five nine nine grams okay so that mass loss if you think about it this decomposition is due to the loss of water and co2 so if we combine those together right water and co2 that's going to have a mass of you know 18 plus um, 44, so that's going to have a mass of 62. Okay, so we can then figure out how many moles then of bicarb we had in the decomposition if we just stick with this. Okay, so if we take this amount then, okay, we could say we got 0 0.599 grams lost. Okay, and we know that there are 62 grams per mole of H2O plus HCO2. So that'll give us the number of moles. And then we know that for every mole of H2O and CO2, we used two moles of bicarbonate. Okay, and then we can multiply times the molecular mass then of bicarbonate, which is 84.00 grams per mole bicarbonate. Okay, and so if we do that math, then the original mass then of our bicarb would be 1.623 grams of sodium bicarb. Okay, so the common mistake is the molar ratio problem here. That usually is, is one of the big problems. Okay, so if we then said, okay, we had 3.492, so the percent, in this case, percent bicarb in the sample is going to equal then the mass, because you're going to assume the sodium chloride stays the same, divided by our original mass, 492 grams, and that will then equal, um, what is that, that is 46.5% bicarb, which means then it's 50 you know, 3.5 percent sodium chloride. Okay, so so that would be how you would do those calculations. Again, if you have any sort of questions, please read the lab manual. Go talk to your lab instructor. There are various methods in which you can look this up.